Moi kaikki! In this video, we will go over the difference between these different smell words. I recently got a comment asking me to make a video about the difference between these four words. Tuoksu, haju, lemu ja löyhkä. Mikä niiden ero on? All have something to do with some sort of smell. Let's start with an easy one. So, lemu, le, mu, le, mu, ja löyhkä, which is a more difficult word to pronounce. Löyhkä, löyhkä, eli lemu ja löyhkä are actually synonyms. These two words can be used interchangeably and they both mean a really bad smell. So stinks, bad stench, something that reeks. Ooh, these two words lemo ya löyhkä always mean a very bad smell. Lemo, löyhkä, For example, tala lemoa. It stinks in here. Tala lemua. Or, mikä ta löyhkä on? Hyi, mikä ta löyhkä on? Oh, what's that nasty smell? So those two words are used to describe something that smells disgusting. Lemu, löyhkä. What about tuoksu? Tuoksu. 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 Tuoksu officially describes a good or pleasant smell. This word has actually been used in the Finnish language since the early 1700s. And let's go over a few example sentences. Tää ruoka tuoksu hyvältä. This food smells good. Tää ruoka tuoksu hyvältä. So here, tuoksu is used to describe the pleasant aroma of the food. Tuoksu. Täällä on hyvä tuoksu. It smells good here. Täällä, here, on hyvä tuoksu. It smells good here. Or, tykkään kukkien tuoksusta. I like the smell of flowers. Tykkään kukkien Tuoksusta. So as you can see from the three example sentences, the word tuoksu is combined with various other words that help it describe a good smell. Either you're using the word huva or you're describing flowers, which most people associate with some kind of good smell. So tuoksu officially is a word that you combine with some kind of good smell. Tuoksu can also sometimes be used as a word for perfume. For example, nä tuoksut on tarjouksessa. These perfumes are on sale. Sometimes you'll hear that being used. And tuoksu can also be used in compound words or yhdyssanat to create new words, usually with some kind of pleasant association. For example, meren tuoksu, the smell of the sea. Meren tuoksu, tuoksu kynttilä, a scented candle. Tuoksu kynttilä. Hyvän tuoksuinen. Good smelling. It's an adjective that means something smells good. Hyvän tuoksuinen. For example, hyvän tuoksuinen tuoksu kynttilä. Hyvän tuoksuinen tuoksu kynttilä. Okay, so officially, tuoksu is used to describe a pleasant smell. So then what about the word haju? Haju. Haju. So the word haju has been used since the 1500s here in Finland, since the Agricola times. Officially, I believe haju is said to have a slightly more negative connotation and usually used to describe more negative smells. Whereas tuoksu is strictly meant more for positive smells, haju is what you would usually use then when you're describing negative smells. But I can tell you this, that haju is used in everyday language quite a bit, both for good and bad smells. So it can be used in a more neutral way 
as well if you add good or bad adjectives surrounding it. But the difference is Duoksu should be used for positive smells. Hayu, on the other hand, the connotation is usually a more negative smell. So for example, Tala on Baha Hayu. It smells bad here. So this is the official proper way to use Hayu. Tala on Baha Hayu. Baha Hayu. Bad smell. But you could alternatively say Tala on Huva Hayu. People will use this, but Hayu more officially is meant more for bad smells. So it's more right to say Tala on Baha Hayu instead of Tala on Huva Hayu. Just like it's more right to say Ta kukka tuoksu hyvältä because you're saying this flower smells nice. So you would tend to lean towards using tuoksu because tuoksu is used to describe positive smells. Ta kukka this flower tuoksu hyvältä. Ta kukka tuoksu hyvältä. So that is the main difference between those four smell words. What about the word haju vesi? Smell plus water. Haju vesi. Why would it be haju vesi instead of tuoksu vesi? So I kind of looked into this. There wasn't too much information available, but from what I could find was that traditionally Hayu was used in compound words in Finnish. So they didn't really use tuoksu in compound words related to smells. Hayu was the default. So when they wanted to make a new word for perfume, uh, combining smell plus water, they picked the word Hayu to use in this compound word. So that's the reason that was given at least. And one final thing I did want to say about the word Hayu is that in Finnish slang, Hayu can mean to have a clue about something or to have an idea about something. For example, if you were to say mulla ei o hajua, it literally translates to I don't have a smell, but the meaning of this sentence is I don't have a clue or I have no idea. If something is really difficult, someone asks, are you able to solve this puzzle? And you're like, oh, mulla ei o hajua. I don't have a clue. So that is one slang use of the word hayu. I do want to bring your attention to three more useful words kind of in this smelling category. The first one is the verb form of hayu, which is haista, which is it's used to describe something that smells bad. For example, ta huone haise oudolta. This room smells weird. It smells weird. Haise oudolta. Or likaiset vaatteet haise. Dirty clothes smell. So you're saying likaiset vaatteet haise, which means they smell, but the assumption is here that they smell bad. So it sounds like it's a very negative smell. Or lastly, Toi haise, that smells, or that stinks, that smells bad. Toi haise. Okay, moving on to uh, the final two. Haista is to smell something. So that's just the literal verb of smelling. The act of your nose sniffing something. So for example, mun koira haistaa namit mun taskussa. Mun koira my dog haista smells namit treats mun taskussa in my pocket mun koira haista namit mun taskussa or voinko haista tata saippua pretend you have some soap here <laughs> and you're asking the shopkeeper voinko haista tata saippua can i smell this soap <laughs> so it's just the neutral act of literally smelling. And the final word I will teach in this video is haju aisti. Haju aisti. So the sense of smell. This is used for animals in particular. Beagleila, beagles. Beagleila on tosi hyvä, tosi hyvä haju aisti. Beagleila on tosi hyvä haju aisti. So beagles have a really good sense of smell. Hajuaisti. 
how you iced it. For my Patreon level 2 members and my YouTube membership level 2 members as well, my May workbook will be up very soon, working on it now, and in my workbook I create questions and exercises and review material for that month's YouTube videos that I have published. For example, in my May workbook, I will take the video topics of this month, so by or why, snow vocabulary, uh, other words of why, these smell words, and I'll create practice material to kind of review this month's finish that we have learned together. So I will be uploading that to my members. Thank you so much if you are a member for supporting this channel. And give us a follow on Google Katsaite and I'll see you in the video. Moikka!